I tell you, the conversation is smoking. That's <coughs> because the bullfighter from Ikolomani has showed up. And guess who just tweeted moments ago? Let's go to that tweet, Monica. Miguna Miguna from Toronto, Canada. He says, rubbish. Khalwale is not everyone. He is a certified coward and hypocrite. I didn't call him a traitor. I said he is a coward and a hypocrite, which is self-evident. Jeff is only interviewing him because he is now anti-H.E. Railo Dinka. Guy Fafa. Is that why you're interviewing me? Can you imagine? No, no tell me. I, is that why you're interviewing why, me? Why, have I not interviewed you before? Many, many times. Many times. Yes. Uh, did I interview you because you were in one camp or another? No. I, ex I respect your opinions. Exactly. And I want to thank you for inviting me here. Let us uh, do the decent thing. We reply to him yes. because it's good he's watching. Yes. Uh, this thing of cowardice, I do not understand. If that is, was a day to measure cowardice or otherwise. Mm. Miguna Miguna, while in Runda Estate, has had an opportunity more than once to demonstrate that so-called uh, bravery of his. He has never been in a single demonstration. And in those demos, there were tear gas, life bullets, and people were losing their lives. He has never participated. I was not only in all of them in Nairobi, but on two occasions, I jumped from Nairobi, went to start the same stuff in Kakamega. Is that cowardice? I am the only one whose family members who work with the government have been threatened. That is not cowardice. But this discussion is not about that. Mm. Those in government who are threatening members of my family, they know that that is wrong. Mm. They're being threatened because I'm, a, I'm, I'm propagating a different political ideology. Yeah, but he's a self-declared general, you know? He doesn't need to be on the ground. He's the general. Uh, that's okay. I, 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 I recognize him for what he has uh, self-declared himself to be. And uh, I cannot take anything away from him and I cannot insult him, but I will urge him to learn to be a team player. Mm. You cannot win this one alone, even the great Mandela. Yes, the so-called saying that I'm anti uh, our president, uh, people's president. It's a lie. It's because I am th in the middle position of saying that having pushed this far, we now have to push for dialogue mm. where we could achieve more. And I have lessons in history to learn from. Nelson Mandela accepted to talk to Frederick de Klerk. And it is after those conversations that were midwifed by Cyril Ramaphosa mm -hmm. that we saw the end of apartheid. apartheid yes. So probably my middle ground position, yes. I am the Cyril Ramaphosa <laughs> of Kenya. Because Cyril Ramaphosa, for doing what I'm doing today, Cyril Ramaphosa was denied a chance to be Mandela's deputy. That's right. Yeah, we are learning from that history. Mm. Miguna Miguna, he might have learned law, but he probably he has not gone through the school of life. And just for the record, I yeah. interviewed Miguna many times. Yeah. Was that because he was anti raila I think he was, because on one of your interviews or one of the nation interviews, mm. the clip has been replayed. He was uh, uh, featured saying that Raila was not fit to be president or president of anything. He also said he never voted for Raila. Raila. Yeah. So it's him who has been anti-Raila. Yep. The time I was not with Raila, I made it public. That is when I was pushing for the presidential ambition of Musalia Mudawadi. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. No. No. And don't forget who wrote Peeling Back the Mask. Exactly. It was Miguna Miguna. Miguna Miguna. Yes. The man with the same name twice. Yeah. So he's trying to endear himself to, to Raila's uh, law constituency. I hope he will succeed. You think he'll be the successor to Raila? Is that what he's positioning himself for? As Raila's heir apparent? As far as he's concerned, it is sacrilegious for somebody not only to speak, but even imagine the possibility that Raila has to be succeeded. 
That's why they become very jittery <laughs> when I refer to the document that is called the NASA Coalition Agreement. It speaks to the Raila's succession. They don't want to hear that. But I can promise them this middle ground position that I'm pushing, that is the future of Kenya. Because mm. even when we take over as NASA, we're not going to kill all Kalenjins. Mm -hmm. No. We're not going to kill all Kikuyus. No. And even if we did, we would end up in the ICC. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, yeah. some of our strongest supporters are Kikuyus. I think Jimmy Wanjiki comes from somewhere in Mount Kenya. <laughs> somewhere in uh, Moranga. I think, I think, uh, in Moranga, yeah. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I think Paul Mwangi, our top lawyer, mm. he advises us and we never doubt he, his, uh, his legal advice. Correct. He comes from Mount Kenya. Yeah. Yes. There are a lot of uh, Kikuyu business people who support us financially. But tell me something, Dr. Ari. Uh, do you think this coalition, the way it stands, and I asked you before the break, but, you know, tell me, honestly, between 922, yeah. will NASA, will NASA hold, or will it disintegrate? My wish is that NASA should hold. And my prayer is that NASA succeeds. But? However, mm. you have to be a realist. A realist, one, by learning from the history of coalitions in this country, Every time we go to a new electoral circle, we approach it with a different configuration. You'll remember the configuration of NAC when 2007 yes. came, it configured into PNU. Mm -hmm. You'll remember ODM was it configured into COD in 2013 and reconfigured into NASA, that is the nature of the politics of this country. My prayer is that even as the new configuration starts emerging, it should do so, but put like-minded people together. Today, Kalonzo's constituency, Mdebadi's, Wetangula's, and Raela's constituencies are like-minded. That like-mindedness should be maintained. It will not be maintained by them calling the way I can think. The way the keyboard soldiers of the respective uh, 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 co-principles think, it will be maintained by us pushing a common agenda. The common agenda now, now, mm -hmm. is simple. On the one hand, Deputy President Ruto and Uhuru are very cheeky. They are saying, forget about politicking, let's talk about development. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, elements within NASA are again cheeky saying that don't talk about 2022, just let us fo focus on reforms. Yeah. They are both wrong. The correct and future of this country is that we must speak very strongly to reforms. Two, we cannot put aside politics, only that we should do smart politics, not do destructive politics. Mm -hmm. And three, for those in NASA, we must speak to 2022. If it was bad to speak to 2022 today, then it was terrible for us at the inception of NASA to have spoken to 2022. And that's why we put in the clause mm. that locks out ODM. Yeah, but would, would Mudavadi or Tangula, would they play second fiddle to Kalonzo? Leave that to us. Leave that to us. Don't, don't, don't mean a hurry. And we are going to fix it soon. You know why we are fixing it very soon? Tell me. It's because we don't want to leave a space unoccupied so that Deputy President uh, Ruto, who is the candidate for Jubilee, mm -hmm. moves unchallenged. So we are fixing that question very quickly, and that's why we must speak to 2022 now so that, again, it should be blow for blow. Okay. When Ruto moves, yeah. the NASA candidate moves. I was going to ask you, is Ruto the man to beat? Uh, Jubilee has told us they don't have anybody else so far. And, you know, we have exciting things coming to happen. Mm. We have people who the deputy president carelessly fought and mistreated in Mount Kenya. But, you know, there's, who, no, who, there's no such thing as permanent enemies Ex in politics. Exactly, how you wish. But now the chickens are going to come home to roost. <laughs>
That's what Malcolm X said. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Malcolm X said. A great man. A oh, great man. God yes, rest his soul. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, so uh, switching gears just a little bit. Yeah. There's this guy called Jaro Soja. You know him? Jaro Soja, Jaro is, Soja is Gor Mahia fan number one. Uh -huh. He says, uh -huh. Mishimiwa, Daktari, you a big soccer fan. Yes. And he used to see you at soccer games. Yes. Nowadays, you don't show up when Kogalo plays Ingwe. He, that's his biggest concern right now. It has only been this season. I am sorry, Ingwe. I've not been able to, <laughs> to come this season. Yeah. Uh, but this is just the beginning of the season. Yes. So uh, there are a lot more games that are going to come, uh, which I'll attend. In fact, today, I almost went to Narok. But then I remembered if I go to Narok, and pass through Kiambu. <laughs> and Kiambu now is in this habit of deflating tires. <laughs> so I said... No, no, that, no yeah, that's my Mahio. It's not Kiambu, it's my Mahio. Uh, in, in that region. <laughs> so I said, to go to Narok, that yeah. is the region. Yes. So I said, they might deflate my car <laughs> and I don't come. And by the way, yeah. that issue of deflating yes, the cars yes. is part of the problem of this no, discussion. That's pathetic. We are that's really pathetic. stupid. That people could come and deflate tires and the police is watching and you're blocking the road for eight hours. Yeah. You can imagine in, in Kakamega and Kisumu, when youth are moving with the twigs, tear gas flies and life bullets. But these ones, they were committing those criminal activities and the police was watching. Have you read a book called The Animal Farm? Absolutely. Some animals are more equal. The than all animals are equal. But, but some, some are, are more equal, equal than, than others. others. George Orwell. It, look, it looks like the residents of uh, that area are more equal <laughs> in the eyes of the executive than Shambhala the rest of us. Wanyama. Shambhala Wanyama. <laughs> huh? Snowball and Napoleon. <laughs> yes, exactly, Napoleon. Yes. Monica, we have pictures of bulls being, bull fighting something or other. Yes. This is your passion, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. Huh? Yeah. You, when I become the governor of Kakamega. Oh, oh when? In 2017? That, Sorry. Relax, okay. relax. <laughs> you want to remind us of the, the bad old days of uh, <laughs> oh, the Faranga <laughs> with your computer. Uh, computer. Now, uh, yes. when we so you are going to run for governor then? Uh, yes, I'll run You're for You're going to run for governor? Yes, in 2022. Of Kakamega? Yes. Not of Nairobi. No, 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 Kakamega. Of Kakamega. Uh, I have a reason why I'm saying Nairobi. You know, I've told you that the numerical strength of my community is going to count. And because... Uh, Politics are highly ethnicized in this country. I can choose to run in Nairobi and I'll win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yes. Sakai, because no, Sakaja is going to run for that. Uh, no, he wouldn't count too much on ethnic votes because his ethnic community is very tiny. Oh, come on. Now you're saying he's not Luya enough? I didn't say that. That's what I you're trying to say. I, I didn't say. I said it's very tiny. Remember, we come from a, a patrilineal society. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, that's, that's racist, man. You know, relax. Right, let's talk about bulls. Relax. <laughs> Where's your picture? <laughs> this is uh, how often does this happen a year? This bullfighting thing? Uh, usually, you can't do it uh, too close mm. because the animals are alive; uh, they are not machines, so they sustain a few little injuries, just like football players. Yes. So they must rest sometimes four months. Okay. Uh, but when it comes and looks very good like that, are you the champion bullfighter? Are you? Not at the moment. No. Uh, my bull is not the champion bull. My bull is he's a young bull. He's four and a half years. He's doing very well. Uh, he's fighting on Saturday. It's called Malinya. Let me see. Malinya. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? Hmm? Yeah, just his name. His okay. Name. That that bull on the right is called Simba. Simba. Yes, 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 yes. You call uh, a bull uh, Simba. Simba. What do you call a lion? <laughs> the, the, the the owner of that bull is called Pipo. <laughs> Uh, yeah. This is serious stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Can this become a tourist attraction? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? You can see what it is. If if you if you were to shift the camera a little bit, yes, you would see uh, we have got a lot of white people, really, and uh, and and, and, and non-Luya people oh. who come to watch for free. So we're going to organize it so that they pay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like you pay in Madrid. Yes. Or oh, Barcelona. You pay. you pay. You pay through uh, your nose. You pay, and it, it, it'll give a, it'll earn us forex. Correct. Yeah, yeah. The one in, in, in when you went to Spain, did you do the bull run or was that not the season? No, it was not the season. Okay. But we were able to visit the farms. Uh -huh. Yeah, we well, uh -huh. And we got into a very good pact. With the Spanish. Yes. And then what happened? Did, did do you know do you know a side pact was? Go now ahead. they realize we have a passion for bulls. Yes. Was the the adverse weather condition 
It's not good for their breeding their bulls. So they wanted to come and develop our farms. Half of the farm would be breeding their own bulls. Mm -hmm. And then when they, the calves are uh, of age, ship them. You ship them. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> this is serious stuff, eh? Very. Very. This one is called Messi. Mes Messi. Messi, yeah. <laughs> Messi, the footballer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Do, do people get hurt in this? A lot. They do, eh? Mm, that's why you're, you're, you're both fighters. Oh. You go there, you die. That is Messi. So are you, are you a matador? Is that what you are? You're like a matador? Yes, yes. You've got to be tough. That was an easy one for me. Look, 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 look. Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now that's a very hot one. Oh. That's a, that's a, that's a big Now one. that is Marina. Uh -huh. That is Marina. Mine, mine, that one. It has already won. Black Whoa. and white. Marina. Marina, yeah. <laughs> Marina or Mariga? Marina. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Wow. You, you, you see, look at you. You're smiling. You're, you're passionate about this. Very right? nice. You, you enjoy this. Mm. Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens to Dr. Boli Khalwale between 9 and 22? What is your role? As in... Uh, As in, you know, because, you know, you, you still have a place. Look, they're all I'm playing. You're still going to make noise? We are going to continue shaping the opinion of the Republic. If you are good material for leadership... You don't necessarily have to be in an elective position for you to shape the political opinion of the country. Did you know that the prime movers in NASA are not all in elective position? Yeah, yeah, Raila is the, not. Mm, sure. Kalonzo is not. Yep. Mudavid is not. Khalwari is not. Mudama is not. So we're going to shape. But being outside the tent, yes. doesn't that feel a little cold? Uh, it depends on how you ended up there. If you ended up there opportunistically, then there is that feeling. Many people, when they refer to feeling cold, they point to the money. Mm -hmm. Of course, you are not drawing a salary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to politicians like us, cold would only emerge if you are politically irrelevant. I am not politically irrelevant because the contribution I'm making now will help certain things happen. Yeah. Either negatively or positively. And you're still running for governor in 22. Exactly. When you hear Dr. Ekuro Kort saying he's the official leader of the opposition, yes. what goes through your mind? I don't mind. I don't mind because even the bullfighting we've been talking about, uh, there is also another session to it the session of netting. So when my bull, a champion pool, is in the field and uh, somebody brings his heifer, he wants to serve. If my bull is not very careful, you get another cafek bull uh, attempt to serve that uh, heifer. So uh, Dr. Cruz is one of those two fake bulls <laughs> that we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> He's a fake bull. It's a fake bull. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's my friend. I know he's going to attack <laughs> me in the morning, but I'll, I'll tell him the same. Yeah. That it is wrong. Yeah. It's wrong after what he did for him to lay claim on being official leader of the opposition. He even knows. He's a lawyer. He knows what constitutes an opposition leader under our constitution. Yeah. He's, uh, an opposition leader is the leader of minority. Which minority does he have in the in parliament? And minority is defined under the constitution. The party with the highest, the party or coalition mm -hmm. with the highest members of parliament, other than the mm -hmm. ruling party. Correct. Yeah. So what is he talking about? He's he's, he's a fake bull, <laughs> <laughs> trying to serve a heifer when he's not supposed to serve it. <laughs> <laughs> How do, you, how do you respond to that? <laughs> Monica, I think we go to tweets now. What do you think? <laughs> I'll ask him in a bit, yeah. Uh, you had an accident recently, didn't you? Yes, I did. Paul Hassan now? Yes, sir. Were you driving back? What, what did happen? Uh, my wife had come to pick me from the airport, and uh, she was the one at, uh, at the wheels. Mm. Uh, she's a very good driver, by the way. 
and uh, while we were on uh, Kenyatta, uh, not Kenyatta, uh, Mombasa Road, yes. as we approached uh, the, 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 the Eka Hotel mm -hmm. flyover, mm -hmm. uh, a truck came from the back and just rammed into us. So we didn't know what to do. There's some pictures over there. Ooh. Yeah, look at that truck. Oh, oh. Yes. Is that what happened? It bangs me three times. So I was asking, was this man sent or what was it? Three times. Three times. He could have banged me once and left it there. But and he kept coming. He banged on again and again. And if you look at it, oh. he was coming for back left where VIP sit. Thank <laughs> God I'm not a VIP. <laughs> I, w I was my, my wife's co driver. <laughs> huh? If you had been back left, uh, we, we, we had been fixed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he did it three times. To make sure. To make sure that the, 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 the impact has oh delivered. Oh my goodness. Look, there look, there look. it is. Just, just see it. Oh. One, okay. Two, three. Oh. And then my wife speeds. Uh huh. Look. And took off. Yeah, she, you see, she, she realized this man is going to finish us. Did you think it was, uh, did, what, did, what was going through your mind? I'm a bullfighter. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> close to danger. <laughs> you know, don't forget, yes. even during this struggle, the flying squad came for me mm. at a Nairobi hotel. And? Yes. And you took off? Led by a Somali uh, the, 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 the officer. So uh, I will not tell them how I did it, <laughs> but they couldn't reach me for five hours. <laughs> and I was just looking at them down there. You could the, see through them through the window where I was positioned. Yeah. You could see them. Yes, they were parked down there. This has been a serious struggle. Were they coming for you? Yes, they came and asked, "We want Halwale." Uh, the hotel told them, "No, no, no. We don't normally release our guests when they are here. They are under our security. Can you tell us why you want them?" I told him, "We want to go with him. No, no. If you want to arrest him, arrest him. We are from Flying Squad. You can arrest him tomorrow if you wish." Huh? Oh, yes. Thank God it's been and, and then in the morning, mm. in the morning, I went to where my, my general was. We, we went to have uh, breakfast. General Miguna? Yes. Breakfast at, uh, at, uh, at Java yes. in Gigiri. Uh -huh. So and then I saw him tweet that I came panting. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I remember that tweet. You remember that you tweet? You came panting. No. <laughs> <laughs> you were being chased by flying squad. Yes, 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 they chased me. But we went and enjoyed uh, a breakfast with him. <laughs> He's very good at breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Terry. Monica, let's do some tweets. What do you say? All right, here we go. And uh, Angalwa B. Angalwa, Angalwa B says, Ask Kalwale, what are his thoughts on the woes in ANC? Pity Otsotsi, then his thoughts on current Senator Malala of Kakamega County. Uh, what Otsotsi and Malala are doing is uh, called the Greenhorn Syndrome. They are finding their level, so they are punching above their weight. Malala and Otsotsi, four months in politics, they cannot punch Mudawadi, who has been 28 years in politics. They cannot punch Wetangula, who has been 25 years in politics. They cannot punch the bullfighter who has been in politics for 20 years. They are punching way above their weight. You call uh, it greenhorn? They, eh? they have the greenhorn syndrome. <laughs> Whatever Next. they are doing will come to note. Yeah. Nobody's even going to pay attention to them. Okay. Kurgatenok. Hey. Thank well, you. We missed the contributions of bullfighter in parliament. He should be the official opposition leader of the bill being proposed by Honorable Kamket of Tiati passed into law. You said you, in principle you liked it, huh? I like it But you want principle. more discussions. Yeah, bipartisanship. Bipartisan. So that it, 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 it accommodates greater ideas. Uh, we have some great brains on our, on our side. Who doubts that uh, Otiendo Molo, for example, oh, he's yeah. now in parliament. Yes. If he sits with that guy, mm. this thing will be made better. I know it. We have great uh, the people in the Senate, like uh, Wetangula, great people like uh, Orengo, They'll put, uh, make an input, and this will be better. Is the is the way to go? It is the how which is wrong. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Next, Monica, engineer Anthony K. W. You say away from politics, Kiasi. Ask the bullfighter his take view on family violence since the current generation needs to be enlightened on this. Please, I know he is a family man. Yeah, it is. It, it is very sad. We have a lot of people killing their family members 
mainly police officers yeah. shooting their wives. And children. It, and children. It, it is so bad. I don't know what became of African culture. Yeah. You know, in, 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 in a Uluya community, your wife is seen to be as soft as your daughter. And therefore, you, you, you wouldn't use that kind of excessive violence. Correct. Uh, for us who are polygamists, for example. Yes. Uh, you, it, you enjoy that, don't you? Uh, uh, no. I enjoy what? Uh, polygamy. No, it's our way of life. For, <laughs> us, for us, for me, for example, and my colleagues who are polygamists, yes. when Mama is in a very bad mood, she'll throw a word at you that would cause you to either respond violently, you slowly fold your sleeping uh, uh, blanket <laughs> and, uh, and go to the other house so that she can cool down. That's our culture. That's how you do it? Yes. What if you don't have that other one? Where do you go? Outside? Uh, I, I, let me tell you about my friends from the Kikuyu community. <laughs> yeah. They tell me that uh, yes. they are polygamists of a different nature. Mm. That yes, they have mama at home, but they have kashungwa. <laughs> so they go to kashungwa. I don't know who you hang around with in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my sister-in-law is a Kikuyu, so she teaches me a lot. She knows about the Kashungwas. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Muchilwa, you say, I love how Kalwale is putting the schools of thoughts together. Let them put their house, NASA, in order now. Hallelujah. We are going to put NASA in order. We are going to identify a flag bearer this early so that we start breathing down the neck of Deputy President, we want 2022 to be a good election where people are on the same playing ground. Do you think that's the first election where there'll be no Kenyatta and no Odinga? Okay, I don't want to annoy emotional supporters of politicians, but the beauty of the swearing-in of Uhuru in Kasarani and the symbolic, symbolic, not shambolic, symbolic sharing in of the people's president in Uhuru Park. The beauty is that, to my judgment, in Uhuru Park, we marked the end of the Kenyatta dynasty. And at Uhuru Park, we marked the end of the Jaramoki dynasty. For the first time, we are going to have a general election where the members of, where members of the two dynasties will not present a candidate, mm -hmm. which will be a good thing. And, uh, you know, saying this as uh, mm, somebody who doesn't come from a dynasty, I speak for many. We must allow other young people, other different sets of people to express themselves mm. and for their potentials to be exploited. Who would have known that people like us would emerge to be top doctors in this country? Mm. We were given an opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Pete's Bull. Pete, what? Pete's Bull. You say, ask uh, Bonnie Kalwale why we have elections if power is going to be shared later, like he's suggesting. Let me get him. What is he saying? He says, uh, why have elections if power will be shared later? For instance, coalition government, these talks that some people are proposing. No, we are going to have the, the sharing of power is within the coalition. Like power is being shared within the coalition of Jubilee. But it is being shared badly mm. because it is between principally two communities. Mm. But we want the power to be shared with participation for, from more communities. And the current model of the Constitution does not sufficiently provide for the same. So when you say, uh, when you see the Ababu Namwambas, when you see the Marendes, when you see the Otuomas, when you see the Lusakas, yes, that, doesn't ca that doesn't count? You know, if you go to a company and you get the CEO is a Marquet, and you go and get a lawyer is a watchman, you then don't compare that the Marquets are weighted the same in employment with the lawyers because lawyers are providing the watchman and the markets are providing a CEO. So what you're saying, mm. Ababu, you can't compare. So you're saying, you're saying they're all watchmen? 
you know, you know, you know, you know too much English. No, <laughs> me, I just leave it with you. That's Faisal, true. <laughs> Faisal, like a lol, you say. What is your next move plan for us, Luya Mwashimiwa Boni, in terms of unity and for us, your fans who miss true and uninfluenced leadership? Uh, I have good news, but I'm not allowed to break it now. Uh, the good news is that uh, something is happening. Uh, the long and short is that uh, you are not going to see anytime soon Mudabadi and Wetangola breaking. And when the time of reckoning comes of identifying the flag bearer for NASA, you will not see Wetangula and Mudabadi competing for the same. Only one of them will compete against whoever. Against whoever? Yes. But will they play second fiddle to Kalonzo? Uh, it is possible they can play second fiddle, but as I told you earlier on, there is a card which we are going to play without any shame, i.e., we want some people, whether they like it or not, to fill the numerical strength of our community. For far too long, people have been teaching us political ethnicity, and for 50 years, we have never voted on those lines. And that's why I'm very proud that I supported Kenneth Matiba as a young dashing doctor in 1992. Mm. I supported Kibaki, and I have supported Raila. So I can comfortably go to Nyeri and ask the people of Nyeri to support Musalim Dawadi. I can comfortably go to Homa Bay. Niambia watu Homa Bay, nimekuja kudai deni. Deni ya kura yenye mimi nilitafia Raila. Mm. I am the one who delivered the highest number of votes to Raila. Kakamega is the biggest voting county of NASA. So nitaenda kifua inje. Cool. Na matako nyuma. <laughs> <laughs> matako nyuma? Nyuma. Tumbo ndani. <laughs> Some text messages. Dr. Khalwale is but a good politician. He knows where the bread is buttered. Jubilee should offer him a job. Since you have not told us your name, <laughs> you don't deserve an answer. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? Monica, do we have a name for this one? Who is this? Dr. you are my hero. You maintained your position even after losing your seat. Uh, okay. Precisely. Okay. Precisely because... Where I have been lifted to reach, I was not brought there by my mother. Mm. Politically, it is people who gave me an opportunity to be member of parliament for 15 years, and it is people who gave me an opportunity to score the hundreds of thousands of votes I got when I ran for governor in Kakamega. I was not going to embarrass them by rushing into a negotiated arrangement just because I had not been pronounced the candidate for governor. I know that in five years' time, my elder brother, Oparanya, will not be running. I'll have an opportunity to have another stab. Mm -hmm. And who knows? I might just be this time round announced the winner. And you were gentleman enough to walk away from that one, by the way. You walked away. I mean, Yeah, and I didn't go to court. You didn't go to court. I didn't have to, because it is not... I, I, I don't, my family doesn't have a title deed to the position of governor of Kakamega. <laughs> Facebook. Jotham wa Jerry Idago. I've never imagined Khalwale being this articulate. It's awesome to listen to him. I wish my wife could read this. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're sleeping anyway. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Jotham says you're very articulate. Thank you. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd like you. To give us some closing thoughts, that's your camera over there, moving forward. You know, you said some very fascinating things tonight. Yeah. And I think you've gotten Kenyans thinking. Yes. Thinking now that things aren't black or white. No. There's a bit of gray in between. Yes. Go on, talk to our people. Uh, we've talked so much uh, about uh, issues of politics, but there is something very important that we take for granted in this country. And I'm reminded of Norway. The Prime Minister of Norway the docket of environment is in the office of the prime minister. And that's why they have got more of forest cover than any other country yeah. in the world.
We take matters of environment lightly in this country. And today, I want to face Kenyans and tell them that Deputy President William Ruto, Honorable Paul Sang, Honorable Kutuni, Honorable Isaac Ruto, they did this country a serious disservice when they fought the Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Raila Odinga, on the issues of Mao. Now, Mao is gone. Mao is a mess. Mao is a mess. I know I normally see you at Wilson Airport, uh, the uh, board a chopper. For those of us who are lucky to fly a chopper, sometimes we fly low. You are able to see for yourself how the Mao has not only been destroyed, but how the destruction is still even ongoing as we speak now. So, the deputy president said something very good when he was in Bungoma last week. He said that there should be no logging for 90 days. Please, deputy president, go further. You know that there is no single tree species that matures in 90 days. So the ban on logging, this moratorium should be for five to 10 years. That way, we will have an impact. And what is more, we should build on this goodwill by politicians from the rift, by A, going flat out to remove all settlements from the Mao, including the big men. Retired President Moy mm. has a tea estate inside, inside the Mao. Mm. We would like President Uhuru to endear himself to Kenyans on matters of environment, to do what Kibaki did. Kibaki went and repossessed Jomo Kenyatta International Conference Center for us from Kanu. Mm. Uhuru should go and move out Moi from the Mao and others so that the Mao can be the Mao. Who is, who is this who is teaching Kalenjin politicians and youth that the Mao is theirs? I come from a place where there is a forest. We never say Kakamega Forest is ours. Correct. No, we respect it. The logging you see in Kakamega Forest is not by the people of Idaho and the people of Isoga, the indigenous people of that area. Mm. It is done by civil servants who get permits. Those civil servants are former PCs and so on and so forth. Yeah. And they do this. I have seen Tobiko has started on, a, on the proper note about the environment. Let us support Tobiko politically because the people on the ground have been brought there by politicians. Yeah. And we're going to suffer if, the more, if they continue They're already suffering. Logging and the rivers are dry. They're dry. Yeah. They're dry. The rains haven't come. Yes. The I, rains are late. I, I have seen a video. I wish I'd sh shared with you mm. a, a small video, mm. short one, of a terrible thing. A white man and his wife, they have gone somewhere, I think it is in Baringo, and they have gotten children who have no water and very little food. The children are emaciated. And instead of these people picking these children and taking them into a hospital bed, they are actually photographing them as these children grow in the dust. They are hungry. They are dirty. Those people should be devoted, be de uh, deported Immediately. instead of the, uh, instead of Miguna. Absolutely. Yes, it is those kind of people who come to this country to carry international footage yeah. that are doing us disservice. If they were really meaning well, they should have lifted those children into a hospital bed. Exactly. Then they start doing the photography when the children were there. You know what happened? Mm. The wife of this man broke down and started weeping. People think we are animals. People think, as the poor, we are animals. I speak for the poor because I know poverty. Mm -hmm. You, I know you are a prince. No, you, are no. you are from the Koinange family. So, so, so chief, uh, chief, uh, chief Koinange. Senior chief. Yeah, senior chief, yeah, yeah. you are a prince. Yeah, but so you, you don't know poverty. I do. How do you know? I, I uh, well, do. Well, 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 I've read your book. Yes, yes, yes have thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, you've, you, you, you've been around. Yes. So, we, we shouldn't accept this. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a lot of hope for Kenya, bottom, bottom line. Yeah, things are good. Yeah. Things are good. Um, what we need now is a, a shift, a paradigm shift. Paradigm. 
in the mindset of the leader. Yeah. The traditional leader should not be a rich man. I don't want to speak ill of any particular leader because I need them for my future politics. Some of the leaders who are in parliament today have no business being there. Because I have sat there for 15 years and there's lack of quorum because those people have gone the running for tenders with common corridors, doing juakali and what are kind of businesses. The, the prototype of a politician is Martin Shikuku, yeah. George Anyona, the people's watchman, Henry Serokoske, Serone, Serone, Chalagat Mutai, and others. People who did something on the floor of the house. Absolutely. So this business of electing people because they have money to throw around, you can see now we have all manner of people in parliament, we have musicians, we have what kind of people, we, we, we have people who can't even speak English, and, you know, so how, how, how do they represent people? <laughs> that mindset must change. Yeah. Not only in the minds of the politicians, but also the voters. Absolutely. Yeah. One more note, Gunjiri Wambogo, MP Nyeri Town. You know I know him. him. Jeff, I've liked your interview with M Dr. Bonnie Khalwale. I like his world view of Kenyan politics. One thing I am sure, just as the sun would rise from the east and set in the west, is that Ryla's name will be in the ballot in 2022. Wambugu. So, Wambugu, what do you want me to say about that? You, you, my, my, my kid brother, learn your robes. You, 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 just like uh, Osothi, and uh, Malala, you're trying to punch way above your weight. Ombugo, the good that Raila has done for the Kikuyu people, you might only dream about it, you might never do. Raila supported Mwai Kibaki. He said, Kibaki Tosha, what is this bitterness you have towards Raila? Raila is not a snake. The only thing Raila is doing He's telling people, I can do it differently and maybe better than Uhuru. That does not mean Raila would kill Uhuru if he met him in the, in the corridors, in the darkness of a corridor. So Wambuku stopped uh, pulling my, 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 my foot, I mean, uh, pulling, pulling the rug from under my feet using uh, Raila's name. You are lucky that the time you came to parliament, I had since lost interest in being a parliamentarian. I would have run, run, uh, run rings around you in debate until you woke up and got embarrassed and been come to parliament when you're prepared to debate people's issues, mm. not tribal agenda. Already he has started it on Ruto. Right. Yes, he started it on Ruto. Mm. And yet what Ruto did for Uhuru, Wambuku will never do it for Uhuru. Wambuku, thank you very much for the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. <laughs> Dr. what a pleasure it is to have you here. Thank I, you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, one day, I promise I'm going to come to one of those bullfighting sessions. I promise, remember. But you come with some money. You just don't be like everybody else who sees it for free. <laughs> come with some money. Okay. Uh, I'll come with money. <laughs> we like the money. <laughs> and you know you're a prince. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, how I wish. How you wish what? Have a seat. I haven't finished yet. Oh, we haven't finished? No, just almost, almost. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. Keep tweeting at K Bonim Tetezi, at Kananga Jeff, and also at Susan TV <coughs> Kenya. The hashtag JK Live. By the way, did you know that JK Live is powered by Start Standard Chartered Bank? Did you know that Priority Banking Visa Infinite Debit Card can be used to buy everything from plane tickets to booking hotels overseas? And did you know that the Priority Debit <coughs> Card also gets you complimentary access to more than eight? 100 airport lounges, free travel insurance, and 24-7 concierge service. Let the Priority Banking Visa Infinite Debit Card transform your travel experience. As we keep saying, Standard Chartered, here for good. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. Keep tweeting. Like I said, tomorrow morning on Jeff and Jalas on Hot 96. Do you listen to us in the morning? Jalas and myself. Yes. What do you think? You're very funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, Victoria, <laughs> laughter is the best medicine. Are you guys? <laughs>
tomorrow morning from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Hot 96 uh, is the place to be the hottest breakfast show in all of Africa. Jeff and Jalas on Hot 96. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. Good night. Good luck. God bless. Thank you, Daktari. All the best to you. Welcome, my brother. Really appreciate uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nice. <laughs> yeah.